As questions are answered about where we came from and how our ancestors came to be in the first place, we can apply this knowledge to the future and look towards even bigger and brighter dreams and discoveries. From the simple origins of the earliest humans to the possibility of commercializing space travel for entertainment and tourism, it is amazing that such seemingly disconnected discoveries can unite in their ability to advance the knowledge and capabilities of the human race. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three incredible discoveries and what they mean for the knowledge of our past and our dreams for the future. Scientist claims world's oldest pyramid is hidden in an Indonesian mountain. The prominent Indonesian mountain, called Gunung Padang, is impressive in its own right, but based on recent analysis, scientists believe that there might be even more to this incredible mountain than meets the eye. Indonesian scientists studying the area conducted extensive investigations of the insides of the mountain with a particular focus on the strange and distinctive pyramid-like hill at its peak. Using radar, x-ray, drilling, excavations, 2D and 3D imaging, researchers analyzed the topography and underground formations of the mountain and concluded that not only did there appear to be a labyrinth of stone structures under the earth, but that this formation was likely one of the world's oldest pyramids. The structure, which scientists believe was a temple of some sort, expands far beyond the superficial pyramid that lies hidden under the ground at the peak of Gunung Padang. The complex formation extends down several layers, stretches over 150,000 square meters, and appears to have been added to by many different civilizations over millennia. The analysis of the tests revealed that the top layer consists of stepped terraces made of basalt rocks interspersed with stone walks, paths, and courtyard-type spaces. The top layer alone is estimated to be between 3,000 and 3,500 years old. The second and third layers were predicted to be between 7,500 and 8,300 years old, with the third over 9,000 years old. Some estimates even place the third layer, which lies deeply hidden at over 15 meters below the surface, at up to 28,000 years old. If these scientists' interpretation of the research is confirmed, it would mean that the eroding and unobtrusive earth of Gunung Padang is not actually a simple mountain, but the earth-covered remnants of an impressive and ancient pyramid complex that sits at the top of the hill and wraps around almost the entire mountain. However, there are still some that do not agree with this research and believe that the rock configurations that lie several meters below the surface, which the scientists believe to be paths and structures, are in fact just natural rock formations. The other layers have only been analyzed through techniques that attempt to peer below meters of rock and earth, and as such, the conclusions reached by the researchers is viewed by some as flawed and based on an unconvincing interpretation. However, if excavations determine that the conclusions are indeed valid, the structure is incredibly unique and was likely used as a religious temple that could offer insight about what the ancient Indonesians were capable of building and give a glimpse into their culture and how they lived. The confirmed existence of such a sprawling temple under the mountain as potentially the oldest pyramid in the world would also challenge the knowledge that historians have about the technological development of the region and the values and capabilities of the ancient people who lived there. For now, however, it remains to be seen whether these awesome claims can be validated, and the researchers working on the project must conduct much more extensive analysis to verify their claims once and for all. Artificial Intelligence Study of Human Genome Finds Unknown Human Ancestor As amazing and wonderful as the human brain is, sometimes there are things that it simply cannot tell us about ourselves without a little extra help. One of the things that scientists rely on artificial intelligence for is extensive analysis of both human and animal genomes to determine relationships and attempt to track the pattern of evolution through the millennia. Recently, one of these artificial intelligence studies discovered the presence of a strange ghost population that predated the human species that we are today. 
The analysis, which was performed by artificial intelligence using machine learning technology, looked at eight of the current leading models of theorized human evolution and discovered traces of an unknown human ancestor that likely interbred with the Homo sapiens of Asia and Oceania. This mysterious population of ancestors was hidden until now, because the only thing remaining to hint at its presence are small, virtually indistinguishable fragments of DNA that remain interspersed within modern human DNA. And it was not until machine learning pointed it out to us. This unidentified ghost population appears to be a descendant of interbreeding between the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. Remarkably, the 90,000-year-old fossilized remains of a girl appearing to be the only example of the result of a first-generation mixing between a Neanderthal and a Denisovan was discovered recently, leading scientists to wonder whether she was a forerunner to this newly identified ghost population. The Denisovans themselves were only discovered and catalogued as a species a decade ago, making these subsequent discoveries missing pieces to a very recent puzzle. Scientists have long understood that the early humanoid species interbred with other species as they spread across the globe and encountered each other. Over time, these species gave rise to new species, and then went extinct as the modern Homo sapiens evolved. However, identifying the smaller populations that arose from that interbreeding, such as the unions between the Neanderthals and Denisovans, has proved exceedingly difficult. This recent artificial intelligence discovery pointing to a distinct ancestor of both Neanderthal and Denisovan origins has allowed scientists to begin to understand how introgressions between ancient species caused diversions in the human genome that allowed the painstaking evolution into the first modern-day Homo sapiens to occur. Artificial intelligence was able to make this discovery because of its ability to identify locations of high divergence in the human genome to indicate locations of potential introgressions between species and further compare the genetic material at these locations, a task that would be almost impossibly painstaking otherwise. This is only the latest in a series of examples demonstrating the usefulness of artificial intelligence in genetic research because of the ability to utilize machine learning to accurately analyze and compare millions upon millions of pieces of ancient DNA with the DNA of modern humans, identifying patterns and connections that otherwise would have gone unnoticed. This has allowed scientists to begin the process of resolving some of the questions that have previously been left unanswered in order to piece together our ancient origins. Jeff Bezos unveils plans for Space Business Park it seems that with every passing day, humanity looks to space more and more as a viable possibility for life and work, and space tourism company Blue Origin, owned by the world's richest man Jeff Bezos, announced that it has plans to partner with Sierra Space and Boeing to open a commercial space station called Orbital Reef within the next 10 years. The station will function as a space outpost of sorts that can be employed for a variety of different purposes, including filmmaking, research, or tourism, and includes a space hotel that can host up to 10 people. According to the press conference, the orbital reef will be over 9,700 square meters and is guaranteed to cost an astonishing amount, although exact numbers have yet to be released. This announcement comes on the tails of NASA's own announcement that they are looking for commercial proposals that would replace the aging International Space Station, which has fallen into disrepair. Although there is likely going to be stiff competition for the $400 million grant NASA will award to the winning proposal, it is unclear whether Bezos and Blue Origin are planning the orbital reef in order to pitch to NASA, or as a competitor for whichever company wins the privatized contract for a commercial space station. Earlier this year, they were skipped over by NASA for a $2.9 billion contract that was awarded to SpaceX, owned by fellow billionaire Elon Musk, allowing the rival space billionaire to gain significant ground as a competitor in the race to privatize space. As it stands, Blue Origin has already gained significant media attention for its recent launch of owner Jeff Bezos and other civilians into space on the new Shepard rocket, as well as for accusations of concerns brought to light by former employees. Although this negative publicity is what caused them to lose out on the earlier contract with NASA, it appears that Bezos is moving forward with his space tourism schemes in spite of the negative publicity.
with the announcement of the orbiting commercial business park coming despite accusations that the billionaires are selfishly pouring their limitless wealth into vanity projects that battle for the monopolization of space rather than assisting with the looming climate crisis down here on Earth. However, for now, all we can do is wait and see how the battle between NASA and the billionaires focused on the cosmos pans out. But what do you make of these recent scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.